That's a call I've received many times. A slight hopefulness in their voice, the pregnant pause while they wait to hear my response. And then my response. Now, I have been getting a lot of pushback, backlash, or whatever you want to call it, just whatever. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, but it's one of those things where a lot of people that are pushing back, I fuck with y'all, right? I'm cool with y'all. Like, um, I rock out with y'all, you know what I'm saying? So I could have just, um, and I was um, replying to some of the comments, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like a lot of that stuff gets lost in translation, right? It gets lost. So what I want to do is I just want to take the time to just go ahead and reply to some of the comments, right? So let's just get into it. Um, I'm, I'm looking at these comments over and over and over again. Um, and it's just like, do, do you guys really know what y'all are saying? All right, so let me address it. So to my nigga Tay D. So my nigga Tay D says, whether Tank is ducking or not, He's showing, I know he put L, but whatever. He's showing Floyd and his team um, to make all his decisions for him, knowing how those choices and moves make him look. At the end of the day, it's still on him. The fact he resigned with them makes it even worse, shaking my damn head. Now, salute to my nigga Tay D. I, I agree with you, you know what I'm saying? Um, but at the end of the day, when you look at the amount of money he's making, do you really think he really gives a fuck? Right? Do y'all do y'all really think he cares that it makes him look bad? I mean, when I go as the more I go through this, you're gonna see other people who are commenting who think exactly the opposite of what you're saying. And it's the reason why fighters can just say and do whatever they want to say and do. You know what I'm saying? So I I, I know that Tank he has some accountability in this. Definitely has some accountability. But our levels of consistency can't be on one fighter. Oh, well, you're doing this. But then when it comes to another fighter, oh, it's your team. No, it's, it's either all their team or it's all them. I hold a person accountable for their words. Now, when Tank said, um, Devin, you know, you win, fight me next. I hold him accountable for that. Right. That's what I hold him accountable for. But. When it comes to um, the decision, that that that's saying what he wanted. Right now, it was up to his team to make that. It was up to his team to make what he wanted. The man said, Devin, you win, fight me next, Devin Haney. You you win. Fight me next. It's everybody out in the out here in, in these in the YouTube community or, or all over the place that is saying everything else. That man didn't say that. That man said, Devin, if you win, fight me next. So it's up to his team. To do that now, what my nigga Tay said, um, I, I I agree. You know, Tank could have said, "Hey, wait, 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 hold on a second. I want to fight Dev." Y'all heard me say I want to fight Dev. Like, what's the deal? All right? And now his it's up to his team to make that. But he's still he signed to them, so he has to do specific things. But I, I definitely feel what you're saying. I definitely feel what you're saying. But he could be a little bit more vocal. I wish he was. Um, and. Actually, let me take that back. When it comes to Tank, when it comes to him, I wish he wasn't. Because he's never been vocal like that. He's never really called for fighting. He's, and he's on record saying, if I call for this guy, then they're going to say I'm ducking that guy. And if I call for that guy, then they're going to say I'm ducking for that guy. So I'm not calling for anybody. I, I'll fight them all. Put them all in the same room, I'll fight them all on the same night. And I truly believe that, man. I truly believe that. I do not believe that Tank himself is ducking. I, but I definitely believe his team is holding him back. Definitely. But you're you're absolutely correct, man. You're absolutely correct. What you just what you're saying right there is it's 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 fucked up. It's fucked up. Now he like I said, he should be more vocal, but it is what it is, man. He's not vocal and I he should be more vocal, right? He should be, if he's gonna start. But I think he should never do it to start with. Right? Just don't. Like your tank, all these guys are gonna wanna fight you. You're Tank Davis. So there's no reason to fucking um, jump out on the limb, 
with anybody. You're Tank Davis. It's like being Floyd Mayweather calling out somebody. You're Floyd. Everybody wants to fight you. So, I mean, it is what it is, but I definitely fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? You the homie, you know, and your comment makes absolute sense. But I I, I just know other things, right? But salute to my nigga, Tay D. Stan Lyles, my nigga. He says, I don't feel that fight is big enough for a split promotion. And Steven Espinosa has said as much. When he named the fights that he thinks are big enough for a split promotion during the Charlo versus Munguia negotiations. Um, I know for a fact that the split promotion would not cover Devin Haney's paycheck. I know this for an unequivocal fact. I know this. The split promotion would just be just that, split promotion. Normally when we talk about split promotions, they talk about um, this guy and this guy like, you know, uh, uh, getting together and they busting the purse. That's not how it works. In this case, and I know this for a fact, ESPN would pay Devin Haney's check. They would pay Devin's check. And Showtime, PBC, um, whatever, would pay Tank's check. The promotion piece, they'd be both getting promoted, but the paychecks would come from their individual networks. So in this case, and I know that for a fact. Horse's mouth fact, all right? I know this for a fact. So that... The paychecks wouldn't come into play when it comes to a split promotion. It, it really wouldn't. Um, and the last I checked, Ryan Garcia is not with them either. The last I checked. Just saying. So it shouldn't really be an issue. Um, the promoting. If we're using the actual word promoting for what it is. Promoting. Right? All they're doing, they're both building, they're both building, it, it's a... Um, it's a greed thing if they won't do that. It's a greed. It's it's a it's a ESPN has to have all everything, all the which I know for a fact that's not the case. Or Showtime and Fox has to have everything, which again I know is not the case. It's specifically if the fight is wanted. If this fight is big enough, this is Tank Davis. This is Tank Davis, and y'all gotta also remember, there is Showtime that deals with PBC. And there is Fox that deals with PBC. Those are two different networks that still deal with PBC. So this fight can be on a Fox pay-per-view, which doesn't have any say, which, which Espinosa has no say or control at all. Espinosa has say and control over Showtime pay-per-view, not Fox pay-per-view. So that's a whole different story. Um, but salute to my nigga uh, Stant Lyles. Sean the Icon, what's up, homie? He say, the fight would have been extremely hard to make, bro. Bob Arum already has plans for Devin, as well as he's tied to the Mando. No way around it. TMT not fucking with Bob, period. All right, salute to my nigga Sean. Now, this, this comment is multifaceted, right? He says, the fight would be extremely hard to make. No, it would not. It would not be extremely hard to make. And I believe people get that misconception that these fights are hard to make they are not hard to make they're not hard to make both sides just have to want it and agree to the amount of money if both sides want it and agree to the amount of money then there you go fights not none of these fights are hard to make none no fight is hard to make right none of them just people have a uh have their their egos put in a way where oh well i'm not dealing with al Heyman or i'm not dealing with bob Arum or i'm not dealing with eddie Hearn or i'm not dealing with rad eyes or i'm not dealing with um lou debella because you just don't like the motherfucker so i don't like you so fuck you i'm not making no money so the, the fights are not hard to make it's people's egos that get in the way like the 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 brass the suits it's their egos that get in the way it's not the fighters at the end of the day, the fighters, that they can say, I don't like you. I'm going to put hands on you. So if I don't like you, I don't fuck with you, I can get a chance to fuck you up. Right? So it's not the fighters. But the suits make things hard. But he says, Bob Arum already has plans for Devin. As well as he's tied to Amanda. That is a, there is a misconception again. It's a misconception again. Bob Arum's plans that you guys keep talking about are totally irrelevant. Devin can drop all the belts. And then what? 
This is why this is why I keep trying. Bro, Devin is not forced to keep all the belts. He's not forced. I, I don't understand why um you guys have this misconception. If Devin was forced to keep all the belts, then why didn't why didn't Terrence Crawford keep all the belts? Don't nobody want to talk about that. Why did when Crawford became undisputed, he vacated. Crawford had a fucking signed contract to fight Sergey Lipinuts. Or did we forget this? He had to fight that man. The winner of that fight had to fight Sergey Lipinitz. That's the reason why Sergey Lipinitz stepped aside. It was ordered. Why are we, why, I don't understand why we're just blowing this off, bro. But he vacated all the belts. So what was Lipinitz fighting him for? He vacated and moved up. But people just act like that didn't happen. They just blow right past that. So no, King, Bob Arum's plans totally irrelevant. And I know my nigga, my nigga Sean the Icon might say, oh, well, Bob Arum's plans was for him to fight Pacquiao. Well, he didn't need to be undisputed to fight Pacquiao. He was a WBO and WBC champion. He could have moved up and became Manny Pacquiao's mandatory without Jeff Horn ever fighting Pacquiao. Those are facts. Terrence Crawford did not need to become undisputed. So if the plans was for Terrence Crawford to fight Manny Pacquiao, then he didn't need Jeff Horn for that. He did not need Julius Ndongo or Felix Ndongo, whatever the fuck his name is. He didn't need Ndongo for that either. So I, I, these type of things right here is just like, bro, I don't, I don't know where you guys are getting this from. I don't know. I don't even know where you get this stance from. Now, I know Bob Arum's a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? But when you're saying Bob Arum's got plans for Devin, you, you, and you, you uh, uh, TMT's not fucking with him, period. Well, Bob Arum is talking about Shakur Stevenson fighting Tank Davis. And Vasil Lomachenko and Devin Haney fighting. That's what Bob Arum, those are Bob Arum's plans. So, so what's the difference between Devin, who's right now with ESPN, and Shakur, who's with ESPN and top rank? What, like, what's the difference? Because Bob Arum is damn sure saying it. So it's like, I, and again, this is no beef to my homie Sean the Icon. I fuck with the homie. I fuck with, I fuck with all my homies. But I, I just don't understand why you guys are getting this. It's making it look like y'all don't want Dev to fight Tank. That's what it makes it look like when y'all when y'all say these things to me. But salute to my nigga Sean. My homie Ron Bennett says, BF, you look sad. I've been telling you Tank and his team has been ducking Loma for years. And you've been defending Tank by stating Loma was, in fact, the one ducking. Floyd Mayweather does not want to risk his only cash cow getting beat because he has no one else in his stable of fighters to rely on. I'm not surprised Tank and his team be ducking left and right. It's no wonder why Tank gets excluded from the pound-for-pound pound list. Okay, salute to Ron. Ron, now, I commented to Ron, and it was one of the reasons why I had to do this video, because I feel like some of the things that I'm commenting are going to get lost in translation, which is why, why I like putting the links in there and tell y'all niggas to click the link, right? So, so Ron... BF is not sad about nothing, King. Nothing, right? My, my I, I was disappointed, not sad. I was disappointed in what I found out. Not, I was not sad about it, just disappointed. All right, when you say you've been telling me Tank and his team have been ducking Loma for years, what does Loma have anything to do with this? What does Loma have anything to do with Tank and Devin Haney? Loma has nothing to do with it, nothing. Did Tank duck Loma? Yes, he did. Look at go look at my vid my play. You're trying to tell me um you've been defending Tank by stating Loma was in fact the one ducking. Did you not, bro? What what? I don't understand where the fuck you guys come from. Y'all just jump out the fucking bushes as if I, I haven't been doing this for years. What are you talking about? Go look at my playlist, greatest ducks playlist. Tank Davis is on there twice. What are you talking about? Uh, what are you talking about? Tank, he absolutely ducked Lomachenko. What are you talking about? But right now, Loma is ducking Tank. So when I gave Tank all the smoke for ducking Lomachenko, and he did, I gave him all the smoke. All that. Gave him all the smoke for ducking. Where the fuck were you at? But now you're telling me, oh man, you've been defending him, stating that now it was Loma. In fact, Loma is motherfucking ducking right now. What the fuck are you talking about? Loma is fighting his fucking sparring partner. Why isn't Vasil Lomachenko fighting um, Michelle Rivera or Jezreel Corrales to become Tank Davis's mandatory? He's fucking ducking. That's why. The motherfucker is number one in the WBC. 
in the same sanctioning body where he was a fucking uh, uh, fought for uh, the WBC title and then immediately vacated it and became the franchise champion so that he didn't have to fight Devin. He ducked Devin Haney and he's ducking Tank Davis right the fuck now. What are you talking about? Did Tank duck him? You're fucking right he did. And right now Loma is ducking him. But all you niggas see is, oh no, it was Tank all along. No, the fuck it wasn't. Tank Davis has only mentioned two fighters. Two. Lomachenko and Devin Haney. That is it. That's it. So if Lomachenko wanted to fight De uh, Tank so fucking bad, then why didn't Lomachenko, when, De when Tank said, listen, it's time, right? It's time. Why didn't fucking uh, uh, Lomachenko get with his daddy and say, oh, bet, he, he, yeah, he's ready for it. Why didn't Lomachenko do anything that Devin did? Anything. The man didn't do shit. Didn't do a motherfucking thing. Why didn't Lomachenko, who who um, was a fucking what's the name? Why didn't Lomachenko go out and say, well, you know, uh, 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 if, Dev, if Tank is saying it's time, well, Bob Arum, I want that fight right now because Tank's saying it's time. So Tank is finally ready to fight me. So Bob, make the fight. Why didn't Loma do that? All of a sudden, when Tank said it's time, now Loma wants undisputed. And you niggas running here dick riding this dude. So then you say, Floyd Mayweather does not want to risk his only cash cow getting beat because he has no one else in his stable of fighters to rely on. That could be the case. But regardless if Tank loses, he's still Tank Davis. He's still Tank Davis. And then you say, no wonder Tank gets excluded from the pound for pound list. Because what? Because Tank didn't fight who? De Loma who? Well, who did Golovkin fight? Is he still there? Oh, Golovkin fought Soglo Jacobs. Yeah, but he ducked Charlo, and he's still ducking Charlo, and he ducked Demetrius Andrade, and he's still ducking Andrade. It's the same scenario. Tank has fought motherfuckers. The one that we want him to fight is Devin. Golovkin has fought motherfuckers. The one that we want him to fight is Charlo. But yet Golovkin's on the pound for pound list. Lomachenko's on the pound for pound list. Motherfuckers got two losses, but he's on the pound for pound list. Oh my, he, 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 he lost to Orlando Salido. He lost to Tiafima Lopez. Didn't rematch neither one of them. Lost. Nobody was asking him to fight Orlando Salido at all. Nobody. He ducked his mandatory, but yet he's still in the pound for pound list. Pathetic, man. Fucking pathetic. But but it's all good, man. Listen, Ron, I understand part of your point. I understand part of it. But you're trying to blend Lomachenko into to something that has nothing to do with him. He's ducking right now. He is ducking Tank and Devin right now. How ironic you didn't mention it. How ironic, Ron, that you're not mentioning that Lomachenko came back from war where he wasn't doing a damn thing and he could fight Devin right away. But instead of fighting Devin right away, which is what Bob Aaron wanted, Lomachenko versus Devin Haney, and then the winner fights Bozo. That's what Bob Aaron wanted. That's what the networks wanted. But Lomachenko instead fights a tuna. He is ducking Devin Haney right now when you are saying nothing about it. But anyways, I ain't got no beef with you, Ron. Let's keep it pushing. Rick Moon says, Tank might not duck Devin, but Floyd would. That don't even sound right. Sound like a duck to me by Floyd. Tank would have fought Loma in the day. And I motherfucking agree. I agree. I 100% believe that Tank Davis will fight anybody. I 100% believe it. He will fight anybody. It is his team. His team. Not Coach Cow, not Tank, not no. It is it's, it's the motherfuckers that make the fight. The motherfuckers that go to Coach, that go to Coach Cow, that go to Tank and say you're fighting this guy. It is those guys that are ducking. 
those guys. It is those guys that are no problem. They have no problem making a motherfucking Ryan Garcia fight after this nigga done fucking played them over and over and over again. Year after year after year, Ryan Garcia says, I'm fighting Javanta. I want Tank. His only fight I want is Tank. Year after year, they say, all right, well, let's make it happen. We'll do this, blah, blah, blah. They got no problem saying, let's make it happen, Ryan Garcia. No problem. And then year after year, Ryan Garcia goes a different direction. And year after year, they fall right back into the same fucking trap. They are eagerly and aggressively trying to make fights with Ryan Garcia over and over again, year after year. But with Devin Haney, nothing. Gary Russell, nothing. But year after year, no problem. Year after year after year, it's over and over again. The team has no problem making a, 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 a motherfucking Ryan Garcia fight. So, my nigga Rick Moon, I agree with you a thousand percent thousand percent tank would have fought Lomachenko motherfucking in his 15th fucking fight if they would have put that fight on the line for him he would have fought him and probably knocked his motherfucking head off but whatever pgh salute to the homie he say um i'm not sure how this changes anything for devin he has to fight his mando or it's a breach of contract he owes bob arum another fight and Bob is not making a fight with Tank over his fighter Loma. Again, this changes nothing at all. We all know who Devin is fighting if he wins and it ain't Tank. Okay, salute to my nigga PGH, but let me break this comment down. He say, I'm not sure how this changes anything for Devin. Okay, but I don't, I don't understand how you guys are, how, how y'all can say these things, bro. Like, I really don't understand how you guys can say these things. This is the one fighter... The one fighter right now in the sport of boxing that is, well, in, in this right now, that is doing everything that we claim we want. He is doing everything we claim we want. And, and you guys say, i don't not sure how this changes anything for Devin. What are you talking about? We should be praising this man to the high heaven. It should change a lot. It should be like, damn. Damn, so you, you, you. Press the issue with the unifying? Damn, that's good shit, bro. Good shit, champ. See, this is why I fuck with that, man, because the sport of boxing is fucked up, man, but we, we know there's one guy right now who is trying his best, you know what I'm saying, to give us, the fans, what we want. It should change some stuff, my nigga, PGH. It should. Then you say, he has to fight his mando or it's a breach of contract. Cambozo is not his mandatory. That's not a mandatory fight. Mandos are called by sanctioning bodies, King. No sanctioning body called um, Bozo to fight Devin in a rematch. Nobody. No sanctioning body called for that fight. None. They just sanctioned it. Cam Bozo is not a mandatory. Which is why that fight can be postponed and nothing will happen. I don't understand why you guys are not getting this. There was no fucking purse bid. There was no um, sanctioning body ordering they fight in X amount of days. There was none of that. None, bro. Which is the same reason why Fury was able to postpone his Wilder rematch. The same reason. I don't understand why you guys are not getting this. I say it over and over again, and y'all just act like I'm not saying this shit. There, it was not, it's, it's not ordered, bro. It ain't mandated. In the contract, it doesn't say you have to fight me right here at this exact time. No, it says you got to fight me. Okay, well, I can move this shit back. I can stretch it the fuck. I can postpone it. And, and it doesn't even say you have to fight me. It says I'm entitled to the belts. I have a crack at the belts. If you get my belts and I have an opportunity to get them back. Well, if you vacate them, then I, I don't got to get them from you. I don't understand what you, why, what you guys are missing. And then you say it's, a, it's not a breach of contract. It's not. That man is having an opportunity to get the belts back. Okay, so so if if Devin vacates, it's up to the sanctioning bodies to put... Uh, he's going to fight for one of those belts. One of them is going to be on the line. But it's up to the sanctioning body to put more than one on the line. Or do y'all forget that Anthony Joshua and Vladimir Klitschko fought for two belts when, when Anthony Joshua only had one belt? Do y'all forget that? Because that, that actually happened. Do y'all forget that Vasil Lomachenko fought Luke Campbell for the WBC title? 
and no, it, it was vacant and Loma already had belts. Are we forgetting this? Okay, then he says he owes Bob Arum another fight and Bob is not... Yeah, he does owe him another fight, King. He does owe him another fight. Absolutely owes Top Rank another fight. Absolutely. Now, what does that have anything to do with anything? He owes him another fight. Uh, Jeff Horn owed Bob Arum another fight. Who did Jeff Horn fight in his third fight with Top Rank and Bob Arum? Because he fought Manny Pacquiao. Then he fought Terrence Crawford. Then who did he fight? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Devin would owe him another fight, but he could. There's anybody on top rank he can fight. He's not limited to one fighter. So if you're saying, oh, well, you know, he had to fight, he couldn't get tank, but he could have got tank beforehand and still owed Bob Arum another fight. As a matter of fact, that might have, it would have worked out better because, um, well, I'm not going to say it would have worked out better, but let's just say Tank beat Devin, right? Tank and Devin fought. Tank beat Devin. Tank is now undisputed. That means Devin's obligation now belongs to Tank Davis. So y'all going to tell Tank he can't, he can't vacate the belts because he's got an obligation to fight Bozo? He can't vacate him? Is that what y'all going to tell me? Because that obligation is for the titles. It's for the belts. It's not for Devin Haney. So if Devin and Tank fought, then Tank would pick up Devin's obligation to fight for the belts. So you're going to tell Devin, oh, Tank, oh, Tank, you can't vacate. Nah, you got to, you got that obligation. You can't vacate. You got to fight. Nah, you got to fight Bozo. Who's telling him that? Nobody. But y'all are damn sure telling Devin that. Tank will vacate every one of those fucking belts. And then Bozo will go fishing to try to find a belt. He will be contractually obligated to get a shot at those belts. That has nothing to do with Devin. Not a damn thing. He is ranked high enough in all those things and he's contractually obligated for it. But y'all, oh, no, no, no. Tank can't do it. No, Tank, you got to fight Bozo. Stop it. Stop it. But anyways, then he says, um, he's not making a fight with Tank over his fighter Loma. I, I can see that. But Loma turned it down. You guys do understand that. Loma turned it down. Devin, um, Tank and Loma turned it. Well, not necessarily Tank, but Tank's team and Loma turned it down. This is the reason why Devin is fighting Bozo. Or else he would have been fighting Loma or Tank. And the winner would get Bozo. Now, prefer, per, uh, preferably, like you're saying there, preferably Loma. It's an easier route because Loma will keep the belts and then Bozo just gets beat up by Loma. He's going to get beat up either way, right? He just gets beat up by Loma instead of getting beat up by Devin, he gets beat up by Loma. So in that instance, it makes more sense, right, for Loma to fight Dev, but Loma ducked Dev too. So in, in that instance, I'm fucking with you, PGH. I, I agree. It makes more sense for Bob Arum to get the Loma versus Deb than the Tank versus Deb. And then he says, again, this changes nothing at all. And it should. We all know who Devin is fighting if he wins and it ain't Tank. We don't know who Devin is fighting if he wins. Because when Devin ob obliterates Bozo... Devin don't need to fight Loma or anybody. He is undisputed. He can vacate every belt and move up and still fight a top-ranked fighter. De Bob Arum or nobody can force him to keep the belts. Because if that's the case, why didn't they force Terrence Crawford to keep undisputed? They can't. It is Devin's decision to vacate those belts and move up. Facts. That has nothing to do with Bob Arum, but you motherfuckers run around and tell, oh no, Bob Arum ain't gonna allow me. Bob Arum don't control shit. He don't control nothing. If Devin vacates those belts and moves up, or just vacates the belts in general, he's still obligated to fight another fighter for top rank, but it don't gotta be motherfucking, it don't gotta be uh, Lomachenko. It don't gotta be for a belt. It don't gotta be nothing. He's the man, period. He can go up to 140 and fight Tiafimo Lopez and still fulfill his obligation. I don't understand why you guys have all of this shit when it comes to Dev, but for nobody else. You don't got it for nobody else, but for Dev, you got it. A salute to my nigga PGH. My homie Mass Arm says, Haney has all the belts at 135. Why does he want Tank's name so bad? 
This is the problem I'm talking about. This is the problem I'm talking about. My nigga PGA says it doesn't change anything. And this is the problem I'm talking about. It should. Salute to my nigga Mass Arms. That's my homie. But it should change something. We should not be looking at Dev saying, with, um, and with laughing emojis, why does Devin want tank name so bad? What we should be doing is saying, damn, Dev is undisputed. He got all the belts and still chasing? He's got all the belts and still chasing? That's what we should be saying. Versus, oh man, he's got all the belts. Why is he one Tank's name? Ha ha ha. Tank is one of the best fighters in the world. Why would he not want his name? He is one of the best fighters in the world. That's like a motherfucker saying, oh man, Keith Thurman got the WBA strap already, man. Why is he calling out Floyd? Ha 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 ha. Keith Thurman's already a WBA champion, man. Why does Keith Thurman want Floyd Mayweather? <laughs> man, Errol Spence. Errol Spence is already the IBF champion. Why is he calling out boots? <laughs> man, why is this nigga calling for boots, man? He already, he's already the IBF champion, man. Why is this nigga calling out boots? <laughs> yeah, it sounds real fucking stupid, doesn't it? Just look to my nigga Mass Arms, though. And my nigga Mass is back in this motherfucker. He says, it seems to me that Haney wants Tank to get him out of the cam fight. Wow. And this is what I'm seeing a lot of. Shout out to my nigga Knockout. My nigga Knockout Boxing says the same thing. Oh, man, he, he's trying to get him out of the cam. Get him out of it for what? For what? It's an easy bag. Well, get him out of it for what? I don't even, I don't even understand what you niggas is talking about. Devin's about to get... Some millions in an easy fight, defending all his belts, which has not been done. Defending them all. Yeah, Bernard Hopkins won undisputed and then lost to Jermaine Taylor. Jermaine Taylor won undisputed and then lost to Kelly Pavlik. <laughs> yeah, all that. Terrence Carver won undisputed and then vacated immediately. Usyk won undisputed and then went up to heavyweight. Devin Haney won Undisputed, and he's about to defend it. In an easy bag. This is easy millions. He is literally going after a harder fight. A fight where you people are saying, oh, Tank gonna knock him out. Tank. Who's saying that Gabozo's gonna knock out Dev? Who's saying that? Who is saying that? Man, shit, man. He taking a rematch, man. This shit crazy, man. Bozo gonna knock this nigga out, man. I can't believe that nigga Bozo gonna knock. Who is saying that? This nigga has easy millions. Easy millions. Easy. Easy bread. This is bona fide sparring. And he wants a bigger fight, a tougher fight, a harder fight, a fight where he could potentially be knocked unconscious. That's what he wants. And you niggas is mad about that. Oh, man, he's trying to get out of a cam fight. What? What? Do you guys even hear yourself speak? Do you guys even read the comments y'all write? He's trying to get out of an easy... Bro, that's like never having to go into work and getting paid. I'm just getting paid for sleeping. Because this is easy. Bozo is light work, easy work. So I'm going to get paid millions to sleep. Or I'm going to have to get up, get paid millions, and a, a tough-ass fucking job where I got to put my hard hat on and I could, I could potentially fall off this motherfucking building and get knocked the fuck out. But I want to go to work and fall off this building. That's what you guys are telling me. Oh, man, it's crazy, man. He trying to, he trying to, nigga, it's crazy, man. Nigga trying, he trying to get out of sleeping. Man, he trying to get out of sleeping and, and getting paid. That's what it seems like to me. Seems like to me, man, trying to get out uh, of, of breakfast in bed and getting paid for it. That's what it seems like to me. Bro, y'all don't even make sense. Y'all don't even make sense. And it makes it look bad for Tank, bro. It makes it look bad. It really does, bro. It really does make it look bad. But salute to my nigga Mass Arms. My nigga Mass Arms back in there again. Haney don't have the pull to force the tank fight. Tank is the man at 135. Floyd is going to move tank how he wants. Wow. And again, Mass Arms is my nigga. That's my homie. But let's break this comment down. Tank don't have the pull to force. I mean, Haney don't have the pull to force a tank fight. But he's trying. Don't y'all want the best to fight the fucking best? He's trying. I don't understand how y'all are shitting on the man for trying. Trying to force the fight. 
I, I don't I don't understand how this that's a problem. And y'all are laughing. You're laughing that a man is trying to fight the best and he's doing everything, trying to force the fight. You're laughing that the man is trying to force a fight with the best. He's trying to force a fight with a fighter that could potentially knock his fucking head off. But he's trying to force that fight. And y'all are laughing that. Wow, man. Tank is the man at 135. Says who? He's the money man. And that's really not true. But that's a whole other conversation. But in a casual's eyes, he's the money man. In a casual's eyes. I'm sitting here like, bro, like, what are we talking about, bro? And then you say, Floyd is going to move Tank how he wants. Well, how is that good for you? You ain't, bro, you ain't getting no money out of this. You ain't getting shit out of this. All you get is to see the fight. How is that good for you that Floyd moves Tank how, how Floyd wants to? How is that good for you? So you on the sidelines like, man, shit. I was waiting, man. I wanted that. I was like, all I wanted was for Tank Davis to fight Julio, Julio, Coolio, Quavar, Chavez, Rodriguez, Ramirez, Puto, Coolio. That's all I wanted right there. That's the fight I was waiting for. What the fuck, bro? Come on, Mass Arms. What are we doing, bro? He's, Floyd, Floyd's going to move him how he wants. Well, how is that good for Tank Davis? Because at some time in his career, nigga's going to say, damn, bro. I mean... What was your legacy? <laughs> At some time, niggas going to be saying, damn, is, is Tank a Hall of Famer? I mean, at some time, somebody's going to be asking these questions. And then what? Oh, well, man, family can't eat on Hall of Fame. You're right. And then that nigga will be forgotten. Just like the thousands of other fighters that had been in the past. They were good fighters in their time, and then they were fucking forgotten. And niggas talk about, like, oh, shit, yeah, Tank, man, I remember that dude. That dude was a beast. I remember Tank, yeah. But when you look at the Hall of Fame, when you look at the Hall of Fame list, right, you'll see that man, for sure. But you out here like, oh, man, Tank will move him how, Floyd's gonna move Tank how he wants him to. Like, what, how is that good for you? Because you see Tank knock out a fucking bum? Well, wouldn't it be better to see Tank knock out Dev or Tank knock out Loma or Tank knock out Teal or Tank knock out Regis or Tank knock out Gary or Gary Antoine? Wouldn't those be better? Wouldn't that be better for you, the consumer, the fan? Come on, Mass Arms, bro. Come on, bro. Anyways, let's keep it pushing. The homie JT, salute. He says, Haney and Tank are a moot point. Haney literally cannot fight Tank. The WBA already sanctioned the rematch with Cambosis. So how could they mandate another fight? And since when does a sanctioned body need permission from a team to order a fight? They can either do it or not. Now everyone believes the WBA after claiming they were full of shit previously. Never seen people so quick to believe Gilberto suddenly, especially when it's irrelevant either way. JT. JT, bro. Okay, man. All right. Let's break this comment down. Haney and Tank are a moot point. No, the fuck they are not. No, they are not a moot point. No, they are not. How the fuck is Haney and... That, you telling me Haney and Tank is a moot point is like telling me Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford is a moot point. Oh, man, it's a moot point. Man, it's a moot. Joshua, jo uh, I mean, Wilder and Usyk. Man, that's a moot point, man. That's moot. Usyk and Fury, that's a moot point. That's that's moot. That's a moot. Dillian White and Daniel Dubois, oh, that's that's moot, man. That's moot. Jared Anderson, Big Shot Shaw, that's a moot point, man. That's moot. The fuck you mean it's moot? That's a fight that we want to see. It is not a moot point. What are you talking about? What type of fans are you niggas? Then you say Haney literally cannot fight Tank. You literally don't know what the fuck you're talking about. He literally can fight Tank. What are you talking about? The fuck you talking about? The WBA already sanctioned the rematch with Cambosis. Yes, they did. So how could they mandate another fight? Easy. They sanctioned the fucking fight with Anthony Joshua and Vladimir Klitschko and then mandated that the winner fights Luis Ortiz. Very fucking easy. Where the fuck you been at? They do it all the time. What the fuck are you talking about? They do it all the time. 
They sanctioned Anthony Joshua and Vladimir Klitschko, and the winner had 180 days to fight Lewis King Kong Ortiz. Facts. Do you niggas Google? Is y'all niggas Google broke? Did your Google run out of batteries? What are we talking about? And since when does a sanctioning body need permission from an A-team to order a fight? Ask Canelo. Or did you forget that Canelo told the WBC to make Advil urine his mandatory? Did you forget that? Did you forget? Did you forget that Canelo Alvarez threw the WBC belt in the trash and they literally created the franchise belt specifically for him so he never had to defend his fucking mandatory? Did you forget that, JT? I will ask you again. Did the, did, the, did the light on your Google go out? Did the batteries run out? Did the generator powering your Google go out? Did it run out of gas? Then you say they either do it or not. Yeah, they do it or not for fighters not named Tank Davis. They do it or not for fighters not named Canelo Alvarez. They do it or not for fighters not named Floyd Mayweather. Or did you forget that the WBA is, has done, they removed all the regular belts from all the other fucking sanctioned bodies, I mean all the other divisions, except for a few. Did you forget that? Yeah, they, they, they did that last year. Did you forget that? Yeah, they ended the WBA regular champion. Now you just have a WBA super champion. Except for in 168 and except for in 135. Did y'all forget that? Did y'all forget there's like, Maybe three or four sanctioning bodies are three or four weight classes that still have a WBA regular champion. So when you say they either do or they do not, then when the fuck are they do notting with the WBA regular belt at 135? When the fuck are they do notting with the WBA belt at 168? When the fuck is that happening? When the fuck are they do notting with the WBA regular belt at 147? Because Stannis Baratheon has it right now. So what the fuck are we talking about? Because they are doing and do nothing. Never seen people so quick to believe Gilberto suddenly, especially when it's irrelevant. After claiming that WBA is full of shit. Wow. Fucking wow. So you mean to tell me that a broken clock is not right twice a day? That's what you're telling me. That's what you're telling me. A broken clock is not right twice a day. You're telling me that. So we shouldn't believe Gilberto Mendoza when he says what he says, and he said it behind the scenes. I exposed that shit. FYI. He didn't say it in the public's eye. He said it behind the scenes, and I exposed it. Facts. So I'm trying to figure out the fuck you're talking about. In front of the camera, the motherfucker will say anything in front of the camera to keep that, that gravy train rolling in. But behind the scenes, that's what was said. Facts. Yeah, when nobody was looking, that's what was said. But whatever, bro. Y'all niggas are, y'all, I don't know what the fuck be going on with y'all, bro. I really don't, bro. Y'all niggas really act like y'all don't want this fight. You really act like you don't want it. Like you're A-OK -okay with Tank Davis fighting Julio, Julio, Julio Rodriguez. Um, you're A-OK -okay with that shit until somebody starts shitting on his resume. And then you niggas are quiet as a motherfucker. Then you're quiet as fuck. And your only response is, oh, well, you know, he, I mean, but he's making money. But he's rich, though. That's your only response. As if you get, you, your, your, um, your entertainment is to watch Tank get paid. Like, what kind of fucking fans are y'all? Hold on a second. Hold on. All right. HK says, I only credit I only credit to fighters for getting in the ring, not call-outs. That's why Terrence Bud Crawford is pump faking right now, shaking my head. I called him out. It's not a win where I come from. I'm just saying. Okay, HK, salute to you, homie. BFTB understands your I understand what you're saying, and I agree with you to a certain point. I agree with you up to the point where somebody is actually doing something about it, right? They're doing something about it. If I'm just running my fucking mouth and I ain't saying nothing, then you are absolutely correct. Niggas is nothing but doing pump faking. 
But if I'm running my mouth and I am doing something about it, I am doing something to prove that this is what I want to do. I'm doing something. It's a whole different story. And I know the first thing the niggas would think, the Bud Dick writers think, oh, well, well, uh, uh, he, um, Terrence Crawford, you know, he sent his people over there to, to try to mandate to become the mandatory in the WBC for Earl Spence. That's what he did. Yeah. He sent his people over there to be the mandatory. Okay. That's full of shit because the man wants 20 million guaranteed and he was not going to get that as the mandatory. Facts. You have never heard Devin Haney say, we need to for I want to force this mandatory with Tank Davis and I need a bigger purse. As a matter of fact, Devin has proven that he will take the smaller purse to make a big fight. Cambozo. He has proven it. All right, so that's totally that's two different stories. But I understand what you're saying, though. Definitely understand what you're saying. You're trying to bundle everything together, and you can't. It's not a bundle package. It's not. But salute to my nigga HK. My nigga Healer. What's up, Healer? He say, my nigga Healer say, um... But he re-signed with Mayweather and never asked for the fight. So, duck. I understand where you're coming. I understand where you're coming from. I do. I get it. I understand where you're coming from. But I still, I know that Tank Davis, right, will fight anybody. I know he'll fight anybody. I, there, you can't, there's not a doubt in my mind he'll fight anybody, right? So I understand from the outside looking in, it's like, nah, he re-signed. He said, I'm not with my contract no more. So Devin Haney, we, we fight next. And then he re-signed. Right? And, on, and, and at face value, it's like, yo, what the fuck are you doing, dude? What are you doing? But if you dive a little bit deeper, if you peel one layer of the onion back, Tank told you he wants Devin. So now I've voiced to the world, this is what I want. So now it's up to my team to make it happen. And his team is not. They're not at all. Tank does not call motherfuckers out. He's only called out two people. And when he did, it was up to his team to make it. His team is failing him. He told the world what he wants. I want Devin. Niggas is out here like, oh, man, Devin can't do it. But what about what Tank said? Tank said, I want Devin. So what about, okay, Tank, you said that. Now, bet you want Devin. So it's my job as, as the person that promotes you. It's my job as a person that runs your career to make that fight fucking happen. It's my job. I failed you. You told the world what you want. You voiced your opinion, and me, as your promoter, I failed you. But don't nobody want to look at it that way, though, right? Y'all just going to shit on Tank immediately. Oh, well, Tank, tank scared, Tank ducking, tank, tank this. And he told you what he wants. Why can't you take the man at his word? He told you, I want it. This is what I want. Why can't you take him at his word? It's up to his team to make it. Now, the issue that we should be having is, bro, you told them this is what you want, but your team failed you. They failed you, bro. We should be having that conversation. Your team failed you. This is the reason why I keep telling y'all it's fuck Floyd Mayweather when it comes to promoting De uh, Tank Davis. That's what I keep telling y'all. Now, can Tank be a little bit more voiceless? Can come out and say that? Yeah, he could. But then all people would do is start making videos about how Tank and Floyd is beefing. Oh, man, Tank Floyd. I told you, man. I don't even know why he re signed, man. Nigga beefing, man. Look at this. Oh, the hair just run on that tank, blah, 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 blah. That's all that will happen. And y'all know I'm telling the truth. So, yeah, he shouldn't have resigned. I, I agree with you. Because I don't think I think Tank Davis is big enough to be by his damn self. And GT GTD promotions can shine like a mutt. It would it would outshine TMT. Who the fuck they got? TMT is GTD. So if there is no GTD in TMT, then there is no motherfucking TMT. Tank Davis will do all these pay-per-views, all this shit by his motherfucking self. There'll be niggas out here easily fucking uh, actively. In a, he'll, he'll be LeBron James in a free agency. Every team in the NBA will want this man. Facts. Salute Foxy. Foxy Brown. Um... She says, I think Tank will fight Devin when the time is right. Devin got um, allegation with Bob. I know what you mean. All right, so Devin, Devin got a situation with Bob, and he said Tank has the baby belt, and he was the man. Then send Tank a contract or shut the fuck up. Okay, Foxy, let me break this down, Queen. You say, I think Tank will fight Devin when the time is right. My love, that's the dumbest statement I've ever heard. The time is right, right now. It's right, right now. 
the time has been right. Tank could have been fought Devin. Before, when Devin was with a, a partner with the zone, he, not, he was never signed to the zone. Devin could fight anywhere he wanted. He was just partnered with them. He wasn't exclusive. He was partnered. So if Tank would have, and, and so let me, let me make sure I address these all the way. Let me make sure I address these all the way. All right. Tank Davis, Tank Davis is the A side. He's the A side. All right. He is the A side. Devin does not send contracts to Tank Davis. Tank says contract to Devin Haney. Y'all can't keep telling me Tank's the man at 135. He's the top guy. He's the blah, blah, blah. He's this and he's that. You can't keep telling me that and then tell me that somebody else needs to send him a contract. That is not how it works. All right? That is not how it works at all. I don't know how many times I can say this. That's not how it works at all. If Tank wants to fight Devin, which is what he said, I want Devin next. Well, it was up to Tank. You guys should be telling Tank, if you want him, you're the A-side, send him a contract. You can't call Tank the A-side to everybody and then say, oh, well, somebody else got to send him a contract. That's not how it works. It doesn't work that way, Foxy. It does not work that way. Tank is the A-side. Tank sends contracts. You should be mad at Tank's team. Tank told y'all what he wanted. You guys are not doing your fucking job. Tank said I want Devin. So it's up to Tank's team to send Devin the B-side a contract. I don't care how many belts Devin got. It's up to Tank's team to send him a contract. Yes. If it was up to Devin, if it was up to Devin to make the fight, then sending the contract would come directly from Devin and nobody else. And then Tank would sign it as the B-side. Because the B-side signs fights. They agree to terms. They don't make terms. Tank is the A-side who makes terms. You cannot have it both ways. So when you guys keep saying, oh, Tank, Dev, just need to send, send Tank a contract, that's not how it works and y'all know it. Because y'all will say that Tank is the A-side. So how is Tank the A-side, but the B-side got to send the A-side a contract? You don't make any sense at all. You're blaming Dev for trying to make the best fights when the reality is you should be blaming Tank's team because Tank told y'all that's the fight he wants. So it's his team that failed him and us and y'all. So you say Dev got issue, he got stuff with Bob Aaron. Everybody says the same thing. He says Tank has the baby belt. He does. He does have the baby belt. He absolutely has the baby belt. When Dev says he's the man, he is the man, but he's not the A-side. Dev is the man. 100% the man. 100%. But he's not the A-side. At all. A salute to Foxy. The homie Dre, what's up Dre? He say, cream in the crop and tank selling out big arenas and Devin hasn't sold out one. Even... When Haney fought in Australia, that wasn't his fans. Those were all Cambosos fans. Has Haney ever fought on pay-per-view? Okay, let's break this comment down. Dev, uh, cream of the crop, because somebody said Devin is the cream of the crop, and Andre responded and said, cream of the crop. Tank selling out big arenas. Tank is a draw. Cream of the crop is the best fighter. Tank is a draw. The best fighter and a draw are two different things. They can be the same thing. They absolutely can. And in this situation, Tank could be the best fighter. But you know how you prove that? By fighting. You prove it by fighting. That's how you prove who the cream of the crop is. By fighting. Devin Haney has not turned down anybody. Ever. Ever. Nobody has made Tank a Dev an offer or sent Dev anything where Dev said, I ain't doing it. It's never happened. Devin has been the one chasing everybody. He's never, even as a champion, even as the undisputed champion, he's been, been still the one chasing everybody. So if anybody has the claim to cream of the crop, it is Devin Haney. Tank Davis is the money man. He, he's a draw. 
He can fight Julio, Julio, Culo, Cuellar, Rodriguez, Puto, Culio, and it'll be on pay-per-view. Don't get it twisted. Those are two different things. But they could be the same. But we can find it out by them fighting. So then he goes to the regular, the thing that people go to. Has he ever sold out? Even when Haney fought in Australia, that wasn't his fan base. Those were all Cambozo's fans. I don't give a fuck if they was Aunt Jemima's fan base. They showed up to his fight. I don't give a fuck whose fan base they were. And who the fuck are you to say that they were all Bozo's fans? Where did you get this poll from that said they were all Bozo's fans? Who polled the crowd and said, I'm here for Bozo? Who said that? I don't give a fuck if they was in Australia. You act like Dev don't got Australian fans. 40,000 motherfuckers showed up. Now, which fight did 40,000 people show up for Tank Davis? You tell me. While you sitting here talking about he sold out, sold out, sold out, he sold out this and sold, sold out that and sold out this. Do you guys understand what selling out means? You clearly don't. Selling out means I'm going to fight in, in a motherfucking Falcon Stadium where the, the, the Atlanta Falcons fight at. I'm fighting in that stadium with seats over 100 or damn near 100,000 motherfuckers. But I'm only putting up 20,000 seats. Only 20,000 seats are for sale. That's it. So when 20,000 tickets sell, you're sold out. But I, I guess you niggas act like a hundred fucking thousand people was in those stadiums. That fit a hundred thousand fucking people. Y'all don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You you really don't, bro. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Y'all y'all just saying shit because somebody else said it to you. Has then he says has Haney ever fought on pay per view? No, he has not. But what does that have anything thing to do with them fighting? Because if Devin fights tank it will be on pay-per-view i don't understand what that has anything to do with them fighting if you talk about has devin fought on pay-per-view that has everything to do with the money split if dev is talking about 50 50 with tank well then you can bring up that argument have you ever fought on pay-per-view all my fights are yours are not you can have that conversation then that fighting on pay-per-view has nothing to fucking do nothing to do with Having the fight at all. But it is what it is. Salute to Dre. That's my homie. He just on some bullshit. My crush Ashley says, Bill Haney told you this. Now, and she said it with a question. She questioned me this. My crush, no. No crush. No. Trail Bill did not tell me this. That's the obvious is that Trail told me this. Because everybody knows I have a relation with Trail. You know what I'm saying? That's the obvious. No, my crush. He did not. And I'm going to leave it like that. But salute to my crush. Make sure y'all subscribe to her. So, I sit here and I look. And th there was a lot more comments, bro. There was a lot more comments. There was a lot more. Um, there was a lot more that I could have did. A lot more I could have went over. But in this instance... I just wanted to touch bases on this because I feel like I feel like we're we're missing we're missing the whole part of this. Right? We're missing. This is about the best fighting the best. Right? Tank Davis and Devin Haney give their careers validity. They give their legacies validity. Right? Motherfuckers will tell me all the time, man, Cam Bozo ain't shit. Yeah, Devin Haney's undisputed, but yeah, he beat Cam Bozo for undisputed. Cam Bozo ain't shit, man. Cam Bozo ain't anything. These are the same people that'll later on tell me about how Terrence Crawford is undisputed and he don't need he don't need Errol Spence because he's going to the Hall of Fame. Because he beat Ndongo. Ndongo ain't shit either. <laughs> Ndongo ain't shit either. But this is the situation that we have. We have a, it, I, I'm going to give it to you as if it was Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford. Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford, both fight at 147. They are both undefeated. Errol Spence is undisputed. I mean, Terrence Crawford is undisputed. He's undisputed. But Errol Spence is the pay-per-view fighter. He's the, he's the money man. That's what he is. He's the money man, the pay-per-view fighter. 
But Terrence Crawford is undisputed at 147. Errol Spence really ain't fighting nobody. He ain't fighting nobody. Nobody wants to fight Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford is chasing down. He's the undisputed champion of the world chasing down mandatories and challengers. And none of them want to fight him. None of them want to fight him. He got undisputed by, be, by beating Liam, 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 Liam Smith Walsh. He has all the belts. He beat a fucking bum. And he's got all the belts. And he is trying to fight Errol Spence. He's already undisputed. He's already going to the Hall of Fame. He don't need Errol Spence for legacy. He's going to the Hall of Fame. Not, not, not legacy to, to, for validity, but he needs him for legacy. Because he's beat Calum, Calum, Liam, Callum, Calum for undisputed. But yet Terrence Crawford is chasing down Errol, Errol Spence, chasing him down. He's the undisputed champion. He's got all the belts. All of them. I wonder what y'all be saying then. I wonder how many motherfuckers would be out here shitting on Errol Spence, calling him a blatant duck. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder how many motherfuckers would be like, oh man, I wonder when BFTB goes at Errol Spence, start calling Errol Spence a straight up duck, bro. You ducking, bro. You, you said, you said um, um, you want this and you want that. Well, Terrence Crawford's got everything. He's got all the belts. He's the ring magazine champion. He's the number one uh, this and that and that. Well, he ain't number one. He's number two, which is the craziest shit in the world. Terrence Crawford is number two behind Errol Spence, but Terrence Crawford has all the belts. I wonder how many motherfuckers will be telling me, oh, man, come on, man. Just have patience. Man, Al Heyman and Floyd Mayweather, they're going to make that fight when it's time. You know, when the time is right, they'll make that fight. Just have patience, man. But Terrence Crawford been calling out Errol Spence for all this time, wanting all the smoke. And he's got all the belts and everything that Errol Spence could potentially want in anything. But yet, because Errol Spence is fighting bums, making money, with no belts, just fighting bums, on pay-per-view, then y'all motherfuckers out here like... But Errol's making money, though. It don't matter if he don't. It don't matter. He's making money, though. I wonder how many of y'all would have that stance. I wonder. I fucking wonder. It damn sure wouldn't be a lot of y'all. Then let me guess. Y'all don't want to talk about that. But when it comes to these two kings, uh, whole different story. Whole different story. They don't got to fight. Let it be when Tank wants it. Tank will do. I mean, let it be when uh, Floyd wants it. Floyd will going to move him how he wants to move him. Oh, man, this is crazy, man. Man, so Errol Spence, I mean, Terrence Crawford, yeah, you're undisputed, but you got to fight Liam, Liam, Liam in a rematch that nobody wants to see. You got to fight Julius Ndongo in a rematch that nobody wants to see that fight. You got to fight Julius Ndongo. Nope, can't fight Errol Spence. Nope, 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 nope. Terrence Crawford can't fight Errol Spence. Nope, nope, nope. I ain't trying, nope. You got to honor your contract. Nope, nope. You gotta fight Julius and Dungo in a rematch. Nope, nope, I don't, nope, nope, nope. He got nope. Terrence Crawford gotta fight Julius and Dungo. He can't fight Earl Spence, nope. I wonder how many of you motherfuckers are saying that. And if y'all are saying you would, you're full of shit. Everybody in here claiming that y'all want that fight, man. We want Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford. We want Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford. We want that. Yeah, but when I gave you that scenario, all of a sudden you don't want it. All of a sudden, no, BF, I, I, I would. No, BF, I'll tell him. I'll tell Terrence Crawford, man, he got to honor his contract. You're a liar. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. You want Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford. But you clearly don't want Tank Davis, Devin Haney. I fucking wonder why. BFTB, shout to the mighty, mighty LDBC, and I'm out.